back. WNST, Towson, of Baltimore and Baltimore Positive. We are positively no longer in Baltimore. We're in Harford County, just across the line in Mountain Road and Blair Road on our way up to Bel Air. We are in Falston. We are at the local elevated comfort food. Uh, I am uh, going to elevate this crab cake tour up and on. The plate <laughs> weighs about a ton. It feels like it has uh, uh, like 10 pounds of crab cake. Two delicious crab cake. A little pan fried here, maybe the way I like it. Uh, we're up here in, uh, in Falston, courtesy of our friends at the Maryland Lottery. We're giving away these uh, Maryland scratch-offs to everybody in the bar. we got a big party coming in here and our friends at Window Nation, 866-90-NATION. If it's still May, you're still in for buy two, get two free, and five years, 0% financing. That financing is going to go away because money's gotten expensive. And this lady knows a little bit about that because she's in business herself. I missed you a couple weeks ago. I, know. I had Pappas crab cakes and, <laughs> and, my, uh, and, and my, my Philly uh, pretzel joint up there. By the way, you can freeze them and they're good. They're a buck <laughs> a piece. They're delicious. You, meanwhile, have this studio in thing. Yes. You're a Raven cheerleader who's directly related to Scott Keck. Hi, Scott. <laughs> you can give up your cheerleader hey, niece to me uh, in Harford <laughs> County, business owner, workout fiend. I don't even know how to say it was in line. Uh, stay in line. Stay in line. In bar. Bar. Yep. Just like is the bar. Is that French or is that like Quebec French? What is that? <laughs> Just bar, like a ballet, ballet but where, bar. But where, uh, be, be, so a ballet bar is yes. B-A-R-R-E. I didn't know that's what it's called. B-A-R-R-E. Mm-hmm. All right, look. I, mean, I know Barishnikov did it and whatnot, you know, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I was not. My mother, tried, she, she used to watch um, uh, Lawrence Welk. Okay. And the guy would do the tap yeah. dance thing, you know. And she always wanted me to be a tap dancer. And I went to tap dance once uh-huh. at uh, six years old. And I'm like, Mom, I'm going to play baseball. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not right. going to You weren't into that. So I didn't, even though I was caught by the mayor getting it at Janet Jackson two weeks ago because <laughs> I, I dance. But I did not. So B-A-R-R-E, bar. Correct. That is the name of the thing. The name of that, that specific I, workout. I've used it. I mean, used it when, when I did PT on my back. You know, just yeah, using stretching a stretching bit. Right, okay. Like an actual ballet bar that's secured into the wall. You can hang on it. You can lean on it. You hold so it. So everybody in your class is using the wall because that's part of the, the at, at routine. At points in that bar class, okay. yes. A lot is body weight, too. There's a lot of planks. See, there, I'm a, I'm a, a yoga, hot right, yoga guy. Right, so you get that. So you like, get that. totally, I mean, Plank has made me the man I am. makes me yes. fit into these fantastic shirts. Uh, yes. And I'm it, 55. Type, I'm sexier than I've ever been. You look great. I mean, I, uh, but, I, but part of this is, like, you have to sweat. You have to put the time in. You have to find something you love. Correct. Which is, like, where I am with you. Because mm-hmm. I had Planet Fit. I began my day with Planet Fitness because they're, they're doing uh, – 14 to 19 year old people free all summer. It's a beautiful mm-hmm. program. And I said, when I was a kid, I went to Holiday Spy over in Dundalk, Ameri- you know, North Point. Cost my parents a fortune. It was this long term club thing. And then, like, they really weren't interested in getting you in shape and they didn't really right. prepare your. Here, come on in. Yeah. The steam room's in the back. Anything. You know what right. I mean? Like, whatever. I, I find that as an adult, I, I don't want a treadmill. I, my knees don't like running in right. that way. I need that. I need an environment that supports me. And I had a football player turn me on to hot yoga, Brian Baldinger. Yo, Baldy. Um, turned me on to it in 1999, and I've been doing hot yoga 24 years now. Oh, and and for anybody that falls in love with something, and I told my wife I was coming and hanging with you today, yeah, yeah. and she knew it, but she knew how to pronounce it too, but she didn't tell me it's the name of, yeah, that, that's absolutely. what B-A-R-R-E yes. would mean for the dudes. That's, yeah, that's it, the ballet it's, bar. It's the ballet bar. So what, what will I get? If I come and, and I want something hot, challenging, you know, yes. like, I want to sweat, I want to be juicy when I get off the mat. Then you need to go with one of our more intense instructors, number one. Okay. And that add that a little bit of cardio aspect, plus, like, you're going to have a good time. Well, Natalie so, told me there's music. She yes, did the show at it's, A lot of it is choreographed. Okay. So, like, when I do a lot of my routines, if the ladies are standing at the bar and I have them lower down to a slower beat, hold, pulse, 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 hold, and so open. at this point we're doing low, low yeah, yeah, right, low, low, low. low, low. Yeah, yeah, so okay, right, they're so holding on that bar. They're lowering down, and so they pause. Uh, pause. Hold on, hold on. Let me hold my crab cakes. While yeah, I do see that. exactly. Ten pounds of crab cakes. Right, hey, all right and then I'm you can you. go half. All right, half. I'm getting a lesson right here. Oh yeah, we're gonna I'm go at half. the local. I'm doing 
bar. We're doing so bar, the, the, a bar at the table. The bar would be the table. The bar would the bar. be here. So, so the spine is nice and straight. Straight. The core is down. tight. All right. And you're So this doing is just half, basically chair. Half. I'm just doing chair. Yeah. I'm and just doing your chair. weights and your heels. I'm feeling that. Your core is tight, though. Those right. shoulders are back. And you're not relying on that bar that's only there for somewhat of support. Angel, can I eat my crab cake now? Maybe. All right. Angel Winters <laughs> here. She is from uh, Stay in Line. Yes, Stay what, in Where's line. the Stay in Line? What, give me the name. So, so yes. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's hashtag Stay in Line. Okay. So pretty much we're telling everybody with your goals, your fitness goals, your mental health, you just stay in line with those goals and you'll succeed. So that's my whole motto. Stay in line. Keep coming. Stay in line. Keep your fitness. Where, your, where did, where did, like, uh, no, no offense. Yeah. I, I, where did this come from? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I've never heard. Uh, I've done a lot of, 31 <laughs> years. I've talked about. Nautilus this, work out that, eat this, drink that, run here. Yeah. I, I, I didn't even know how to pronounce your sport or your your Right. Your so thing, bar's right? been around for a while. And I started, I took bar at Merritt Athletic Club. They okay. had like one or two classes a week. And I was like, I really love this. You go to the beat and being a cheerleader, I picked right up on that. Okay. And then I love the challenging of the lower weight, high reps. So, like, you're doing three or five pound weights and you're repping and you're like, oh, my gosh, my shoulders are going to fall off. But then everything I just toned. So, like, I really believe in it. And for any anybody can do it. And then you turned it into a business. And then, cor correct. So, my husband previously had this business. That's, that's a long story. But he needed help taking that over. <laughs> well, I, but, but for you, so your background is you're from Harford County. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm actually from um, like Baltimore City. Like okay. I grew up in that Parkville, Hamilton area. Okay. My father was Baltimore City police officer. Okay. So we grew up, I grew up down there. I moved up here. Like Coachella. Coachella yeah. grew oh, up yeah, there. Oh, yeah, Coachella. Yeah. Yeah, really close. Yeah, well, Coachella, he, yeah. he came by and did the show at Pappas a couple weeks ago. He lives in the neighborhood. He, I mean, he knew about all your place and like all of Oh, yeah, we're tight. I used to do this all the time when I cheered with Ravens. I talked to him. We did 98 Rock constantly. Well, for me, when it's something that's new, mm -hmm. and look, the first time Baldinger said to me, you got to do yoga, you got to do hot yeah. yoga. And I'm like... You're like, why? You, you remember, like, Marsha Brady had a yoga class, <laughs> and, and, you know, in the Brady Bunch episode, and I'm like, <laughs> yoga? Like, isn't that something that's like, like an like an uh -huh. Eastern Indian? Like we, so you, you get on a mat, and you ohm a little bit, or whatever, and... I gatewayed into it, and and it's it's not for everybody. And I've tried to turn some people on to right. it or, or whatever. It's it's worked for me right. in that I had knee surgery in '06, so running became much Too more much. problematic for me. Mm -hmm. And and then there's just the something you're gonna do that um, you can meditate, think, challenge yourself, see results, exactly, feel the difference. When I'm in shape, I sleep four hours a night. So people think that's crazy. My father was 55 when I was five. I'll, I'll be 55 this year, okay. right? So and I couldn't believe my dad would take me to Memorial Stadium when mm -hmm. I was a kid, take the bus home, get home at 11 o'clock, and get up at 4 in the morning and go down the point and put in eight hours, right? Yeah, right? I mean, that's my yeah. father. And I would think, man, how does Pop do that? Like, he only sleeps a couple hours. Now that I get older, I sleep less. But being in shape, yes, and I sleep so much better. Better, you get better and, quality and way shorter. Correct. That hour or two I give to staying in shape comes back to me in, and that's in the work truth. time. I love my business. I love doing what I'm doing. Yeah, you're clearly a serial entrepreneur. We'll get into your cannabis yeah, business definitely. And, and, and Bobby and what he's doing. Oof. But but for <laughs> well, and and obviously the world's about to change in a couple weeks. You <laughs> know, yeah. in a Willy Wonka kind of way, yes. really. Uh, so, but but I but I would say for 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 people that say what are the benefits. I don't even. I can't even equate to someone that's unhealthy the difference of being healthy. And it you know? really is. Because I've been both. You're making better choices, right? When it comes to food, when it comes to well, eat. these crab cakes aside, yeah, the asparagus. Are, I'm all well, about the crab that asparagus. Cakes are great at seafood. I'm getting this low fork. carb because yeah. this is a crab cake. Too. You don't mind that I have a crab cake on a crab I cake? I don't tour. mind in the sure. least. You well, enjoy. the chef's so busy. He's got a big party. Um, shout out to Zach. He's a chef of the year. He's amazing. Uh, and it's just it got busy here today, and I, I respect that. So he sent these out for me to share with her. <laughs> um, uh, tell everybody about stay in line. Bar and like, I it's in the Pappas parking lot. You're 50 feet yeah, away. Absolutely. You're sort of in North Bel Air. Are there other? bars or staying like yeah, tell me about it. we have a couple studios around the area i mean we differentiate ourselves in many ways though we just had our instru our lead instructor her name's tina marchese she just became certified and our only maryland certified fly dance instructor hold on, hold on. natalie told me about this 
Clancy, yes. I love you. I'm talking about getting in shape. I'll drink beer with you later. All right. <laughs> um, she told me about the fly. The, give, give me this because this is th- th- this is ropey kind of. No. What is so this? you think when you think fly, you're thinking it's on a rope. No, fly dance. Fly dance is a concept. You've heard of Zumba. You've done Zumba. Okay, so I had Gigi, uh, my high school friend, Gigi Causey, on uh, the Crab Cake Tour a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And she do- has a Zumba thing down by Skateland and, and Bella. Yeah. And she was she went to school to be a, like a Broadway dancer, oh, right? Oh, wow. Good for 30 her. years ago. And sh- this is her mojo, and it makes her, it makes me happy watching her do yes. it. Yes. Because it's movement's cardio. where it's at, man. But it's fun cardio. You're not on that track. fly? Now. What is that? So, so that, the, f- so the fly dance. It, yeah. So it's like Zumba, like on stage. It's like with all the upbeat See, fun I'm Latin, music. I like me some Zumba. Yeah, so and well, right, and Zumba's wonderful. But when it comes, okay, I'll give you an example. Okay. The TikTok this dances. Is good. Oh, this <laughs> I'm glad you love it. It's Zach's incredible. Oh my god. Clearly, why he's chef I mean, of the year. <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah. All right, keep going. You, so she's talking on me. <laughs> scrap cake tour with the local. So right. So when it comes down, you know, to that f- the fly dancing. We separated ourselves with that because we're thinking, we saw it on TikTok, right? TikTok dances be, became very popular. All the girls, you know, see little ones and even teenagers and adults. L- during COVID, what did they have to do? They learned these TikTok dances and they did them. Well, anyway, we're looking on TikTok. There was this fly dance and it's a whole group, men, women, all ages, sizes, everything. And they're learning this fun choreography. And it drew to me because of being a Ravens cheerleader. So, like, I love choreography. I love so I saw Janet found. Jackson two weeks ago down at CFG Bank, and I saw the dudes around her, and they mm-hmm. were like, no offense to Janet. I mean, she's yeah. older, you know. I mean, like, she's still Michael's sister, and she's still my little penny. Um, but the, the, the male dancers around her kind of stole the show from me. Yeah. yeah, they were a little younger, and it it reminded me of, like, I'll, I'll make something funny, but, like, John Travolta staying alive when he was in shape in the second movie. Oh, yeah. Just sort of this crazy presence yeah, and, and performance so i'm thinking like that kind of dancing around yeah, like a janet jackson and thing that's are just picking up on this and they're feeling confident and it's in a so my studio is a comfortable environment i know you know women walk into gyms and even some men and they're like i don't know what to do with this going to a class you have a per, pretty much a personal trainer that's why i never did like um step aerobics or whatever mm-hmm. Because I always felt like a jag off. You know, like, I, I don't know, the, the up and the down. And, and the, some of, and, and like, uh, yeah. I didn't think people were looking at me. It wasn't like that. It was just more of the frustration of I'm not doing it right and I'm never going to get it right. Excuse right. me. I'm not, you know, like, that I'm not... I'm not good at it, and I and I don't know that I'm going to hang in long enough. And like some golf. feel that you way. Hang in long enough right. to get good at it, you know. But then there's women that come in there. They want to learn that. They go, "Oh my gosh, I did have dreams of learning." Almost like um, uh, they have it even a barrel house, um, like the line dancing. Oh sure, country so line dancing's it, right? right? Yeah. So they have the the country line dancing. I've even done that with my stepdaughter. I can do the electric slide. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I can do that one. But at the same time, what to implement? Another fun modality at Stay In Line that people can come and have no experience, learn a dance. If they love it, love it. They don't, they don't. Right. Then they do bar. I'm gonna try to come up. Yes. And um and do something. I'm I'm. And we have yoga. I'm interested in it, in that you know one time trying it out and seeing yeah. like what what it would do for my back and stretching. Um, and I don't like every kind of yoga. People are like, oh, you're into yoga, man. Yoga's like it's like saying I like cars. What kind of cars? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Um, I, I like vinyasa. That's my mm-hmm. thing. It's a total flow. You you move the whole time. It's not grunty, hold long, 45 right. minutes. Right. You know, and, and my first yoga instructor told me, and maybe this is something that you could, um, as somebody that gets in shape and, and selling it to the public where you want them to have good experience. My first yoga teacher, before it was hot, teaching me mm-hmm. four corners, basic Right. Basic balance, Basic, where, where yeah. you would want to be aligned, not out over, right. hurting your Downward back, turn, dog, turning your head that. when you're mm-hmm. you're inverted, just th- things that are basic tenets that don't get hurt on the map. First day of class, I'll never forget this. His name is Moses Brown. He's a beautiful man, uh, jolly man, happy man. Mm-hmm. And he said, if you're not smiling, you're not doing yoga. Yeah. And I always think of that when I'm like, Dog ass, an hour and a half, sweat everywhere. I'm sitting there. I'm just a mess. Yes. I'm thinking, breathe and try to smile. Laugh at yourself. Just try to right. try to keep your countenance about you because the whole part of like working out, and grunting and all yes. your breath, and, you that know, just like, doesn't do it. For yeah, you. it doesn't do it for me. You yes. know, like that's not something joyful for right. me. Right, and everybody is different. 
everyone. So that I created a safe sp place for anyone to come in and enjoy their workout. Breathing part of this and active, is there a heat part of this for? There's not. I don't have, but like, you it's will not, heat up. Uh, oh, uh, when it comes to the fly dance or bar and then yoga, yes. But then we have more of a restorative yoga to where you really wouldn't heat up essentially just more into your stretching and more i mean my wife goes to these restorative <laughs> classes she, she, i was there an hour we did three poses i'm right. like and that's i call that a nap <laughs> i call that shavasana is what right I call right that. and everybody's different Angel Winters here. Uh, her hubby Bobby is also involved yeah. in the cannabis space. Working. That, that that's <laughs> uh, across the bridge, right? That's Cecil County. Perryville. Mm -hmm. Perryville. Yes. So I, I um I do a lot of business with the Hollywood Casino up there. Oh, a bunch of bands perfect. coming up. My boys in a pineapple band are coming up in a couple of weeks up there as yes. well. Um, and we're gonna be doing a lot with them in football season as well. Man, everything's changing, right? From medical cards, <laughs> which everybody had applied for this that, to now whatever July first yes. is gonna be. I was at an event. I was at Preakness over the weekend, so I saw Westmore, Johnny O, like Stuart Pittman. Nice. All, all, I was I had Glassman up at. All, we have a councilman here right now. At, yes. at the low, uh, f for me, the politics of it, mm -hmm. the imp the implementation of it, mm -hmm. and then the whole stigma of all of these years, Correct. fighting through all that. And I've uh -huh. talked. To, I've had a lot of people on the air talking about cannabis, from athletes using to distributors to all the politics around it. You and your family have been yes. on the front line to this. 100%. This last five or six weeks before it, everything's about to change all over again. Mm -hmm. And it's been a changing cash business, all these different things that you don't have at, uh, at Stay in Line Bar and that they don't have at the local and I Correct. don't have at WNSC. The gloves are about to come off in a big way. And I, I know your family's been studying this and investing yes, in this. Yes, yes. My husband, uh, it, this has been a long time coming for recreational. Um, you his, talk about cannabis, I'll eat crab cakes. Oh, it's all good. Right, yeah. yeah, I mean, cannabis and crab cakes. Oh, Perfect. well, look, there's another business idea. I mean, this is slow, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> so, um, my husband's number one priority are his patients. That's why he went, honestly, went into this industry when it comes to cannabis and getting people away or just from big pharma, essentially. Um, he wanted to help, uh, you know, people that were addicted to opioids. That's, that was his number I one. I hear this all the time. And number one priority. And people who, you know, weren't as educated with the, with this, which is completely understandable because well, this is a new concept. Well, they made movies for 100 years about it being, like, leading to right. murder and crazy right. stuff. Right, which at the end of the day, you're going to get more of a bar fight than you are people that um, are smoking cannabis. Well, <laughs> yeah, fighting over tasty cakes, probably. Yes. Right, they're going to be taking shots and fighting, not a, you know, not with cannabis. But that was what, why he... You, you know, went with this dispensary. So then now that we're going recreational to where it's open to everyone, which is similarly governed like like liquor. Sure. Um, this is a new animal for all of us, and we're trying to do it properly. Um, we are going to do it properly, but it's a lot that goes into it, and especially with Annapolis and this just being signed. And this, just, like you said, if this opens up the floodgates for anyone to come in and purchase and I don't know the specific. He knows more. The well, specific. there was just so much investment made yes. from, from the grower side, distributor oh, side. Uh, you know, there was so much uh, convoluted uh, legislature about it. And to have it just be now going out yes. fully into the open. And it feels quickly to a 55-year-old guy. It feels like this. we didn't talk about this the first 50 years of my life. Then we talked about it for five minutes. And now... Yes. We're here, and we're not we're not putting the genie back in the bottle. Hey, I talk about this all the time. I'm giving lottery tickets away. We're at the local. I talk about gambling on your phone, right? Yes. I was at the racetrack all last week talking to these uh, – I, I said to all my horse racing guys, I'm like, you guys are the only degenerates I knew that gambled 365 days a year. <laughs> but you did it at the track. You like the horses, all that. Now we're in a different environment where – Ben McDonald's giving me propositions to bet in the fourth inning on the third inning in the middle of the baseball game. Yeah. Like, it's happened quick. It, yep. And that's the only thing I can sort of compare it to yes. is saying something that you just couldn't do that you had to see, oh. you know, Louie the bookie in the mafia to do, <laughs> or buying weed, which you had to have a guy who was connected to some black market bad place mm -hmm. and fentanyl, like all the awful stuff that's going on. I like the fact that, that we've legislated this into a place of safety yes. and of, of beyond common sense use, uh, uh, something we're all talking about Correct. instead of hiding in a basement somewhere. Right, and there was a stigma. And, I mean, 
It, it was a stigma. For, my father was chief of police in Annapolis. Oh, of course. Department of General put Services. Put people away for this. Right. He put people away for this. Now I'm putting the cat out of the bag a little bit. He's going to be working with my husband at the dispensary. So it, he's changed sure. from a police hat with this was what he was locking people up for to now supporting because he's understanding the concept of this making people better. This this can be this this will be I believe a good thing if it's managed the right way. Correct. Right? So concerns from your husband's point of view and what's mm -hmm. going on. You know we talk about these things all the time yeah. on the show. What what are the concerns? from how this is going to roll out, because it's got to be multiple, right. right? This is a new animal, obviously, for the state of Maryland. Sure. Then with my husband, because he is a rule follower, making sure he does everything right. Well, they have to get the rules huge. down first. It, the first thing exactly. was 90 days ago, there's no rules. Correct. Right? So now everyone is... I, I don't want to say scrambling, but putting their heads together to make this the best effective well, way. Well, we knew it was coming. Yeah, we, we knew it, and we knew it was coming, but there was just like all these, you know, there's rumors, and this is happening, and that, and whatever. Now that we have, you know, the bill signed, and we're going forward with this, we just want to make sure it is seamless. Like, example, we'd love to have you up for July 1 for at the dispensary right. to do this. So there will be um, medical line, recreational line. We're still encouraging people to get their medical cards because it'll be more of an express line to where if you're an ill patient, you can. So there will be a benefit to having a medical card. Absolutely. And so he was not you know, shying people away from going to get their medical sure. card. But um, when it comes down to obviously the th the recreational use, yeah, they'll be in a different line. He's gonna have you know multiple iPads, checkout stations and things. The bud tenders are amazing at NCW, which is Nature's Care and Wellness. Okay. To assist with what, you know, somebody goes in, I'm, I'm having anxiety or I want this, I don't smoke, I'd like a gummy. I'm wondering how many people don't have a medical card that want to explore, yes. figure it out, whatever. I wonder if that's a big percentage or a small percentage. I, I, I just wonder. I, you know? I know. I Some people say, well, I'd like to, but it was much of a hassle or my privacy and I didn't want to give the state my, th you know, mm. whatever any of that was that kept them away that's now going to make them right. a consumer, a customer, a patient, however you want to use the terminology, yes. that on July 1. July 1, we are going from 2% of the population, which was medical cards, to 20% of the population. Really? Yes. You believe that? Oh, I know that. <laughs> from listening to him and all the research and everything that's that's going forward with this, I'm skeptical of that. You know, I'm a, yeah. I, like I'm skeptical of Lamar Jackson winning the Super Bowl <laughs> too. People get pissed at me about that, but that that is. I, so, mm. I would agree with you. So I would mm -hmm. totally agree that 20 percent of the population or more mm -hmm. wants to participate mm -hmm. in whatever way. Legal, illegal, medical, right. non-medical. My neighbor has, you know, has a card. What am I? What, whatever yeah. people are doing to obtain, which they were always doing anyway, right? Right. Let's, you right. Know, Let's I'm just from be Dundon. honest. I'm from right. Dundon, right? So it is what it is. So people were always doing it anyway. So like gambling, it's like because it's mobile. Everybody was doing it. Now they have a a conduit to maybe not do it well. This is kind of feels the opposite to me with cannabis. That only two percent of the state has a card. That's that. Yeah, it's going from two percent of the population to. Now, that right. doesn't seem like a crazy number. That only two. That yeah. two out of a hundred people would go through the trouble. Because honestly, what my husband was doing with marketing when we were at events, he'd have um, like a booth set up to explain because people are educated in well, this. Well, there's no the where, where would they go? And where would they go? And who would they trust? Correct. So that's why I feel like it's a bit smaller of the population because anywhere we were, people were like, "Wait a minute, I'm scared." Of that or oh I did this once in high school and I felt this way and then we have our educated bud tenders and employees at NCW going look you have anxiety it's different terpenes this will there's help. so oh, yeah. much oh my goodness you're back you're you know you're taking I don't know oxycodone well let's let's try this let's switch over to this you're not gonna have these side effects let's work and indicate get your sleep at night get your sleep better right. Get, right of course absolutely. exactly especially with the sleep the sleep there's like CBN which is helps with sleep and keeping you asleep. I've learned so much. Well, I mean, it's a science about cannabinoids and, and you know, yes. what's gone into this. endocannabinoid system. We wouldn't have one if it wasn't for some purpose in our bodies. She's bringing us wisdom. It's Angel Windsor. She's here. Uh, we're at the local. We're having these crab cakes that came recommended. Natalie is still here. She's the original, <laughs> the originator of coming out to the local. I had met Zach before. You can go check Natalie out. She's she's out in Baltimore Positive. She still shows up up at Pappas with me. Uh, and at some point, I'm going to get Bobby out as yeah, well. Yeah, uh, he's working. You guys end up oh working and traveling and doing all that yes. stuff. I want to talk about the local a little bit yes. and about the crab cake here because she recommended it. And more than that, when I, I came up the backside, because I came from the Lock Raven, mm -hmm. 
Union area. Came up the backside, so I didn't really, I didn't come 95. I didn't go past Mountain Branch. And just turning the corner and seeing friends of mine. 70% of my high school friends live up here, right? I'm from oh, Dundalk, that's great. right? Yeah. Somebody's in Hartford County, and I'll see Falston Bear House. I'll see Mucha Gusto. I'll see the Hawaiian Grinds. I'll see Local. Right. I'll see Pappas. I'll see uh, more. Somebody, somebody else opened up up here. Uh, another friend of mine opened a, a Bel Air location. Wait, hold recently. on. Was it Das Beer? Das Beer yeah, Hall. Yeah, there's right, an, yep. right. Scott opened up. So... Uh, and Looney's came up here I mean, I they, 20 years ago. This guy, before I got yeah. married, he came up here. Mm-hmm. Uh, McGurk's. Uh, but this has really become a food area. You're like, yes. And I, it breaks my heart for Baltimore because you don't have to get in your car in Falston and drive down to the city nope. anymore. But. And, you know, I'm all about Baltimore positive. But seeing communities like this take on... Mm-hmm. Places that look like they've been here a long time. It's been here less than two years. Yes. During the plague, it wasn't this here. This was a Pizza Hut. And it wasn't really? This was an original Pizza Hut. Yep. And Nobody told me that. Oh, yeah. Lou didn't tell me this uh-huh. Pizza Hut. Yeah, this I was, was wondering hut. how a joint like this uh-huh. gets in a neighborhood with a waffle ass and a Dunkin'. Uh, yeah, this was originally that. And then. Well, my friends at State Fair in Catonsville, it was a friendlies for a generation. Yep. And it's completely rethought into you never, being no. local, great chef, great food, yes. great menu. Yes, locally sourced. Everything. I mean, we have the top chef. <laughs> Restaurant Association. Of he, he's, yes. It, the place has gotten so popular, they're having a big party here out on the deck. And he got stuck back in the kitchen. So he sent Lou out, but he did send the crab cakes. And I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to talk and eat at the same time without spitting too much or, or biting my lip. Um, but, but for... Living this part of the world and loving, you moved up here, right? I did. Yeah. I'm a Baltimore, Hamilton, Parkville girl. How long have you been up here? Um, since a senior high school. So, oh, look, I'm thinking, like, now you're aged me. Like 15 years? Okay. Mm-hmm. Just so young, these babies. That Wait, hold on. I'm like, here. did I do the math right? Kind of 15, 17 years? <laughs> but having a, having a local place, and I know this is one of your favorite places yeah. as well. You guys are involved in what's yes, going on here. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're um, the investors. Sure. So, we met Zach. Zach. His talent was incredible. Completely impressed I'm my husband eat his and myself. Right now. Oh my gosh! And um, my husband and I, and and Zach, and his fiance Natalie, blonde Natalie behind the bar, worked very well together. And then we have an management management team like Lou. So, with his expertise, when it came down to the culinary expert, I'm trying to figure out what's in it. I always <laughs> do that. <laughs> right. That's my thing. Right. So this crab cake. I mean, just wanna, it, it tastes like. When I was a boy, we 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 cleaned the crabs, and I wouldn't eat as I went along. Yeah, I take all the meat and pile it up. Oh, you did that? I did not have the willpower. No, I was a meat piler upper. Oh, I'm like I sit there. I I I clean three crabs, and we little crabs, and you know, we grew up poor in Dundalk, you know. But we clean the crabs out, and I put it all together, and I have one big ball. (laughs) I swear to God, I mean, I mean this with all my heart. I mean this in in the most positive. This tastes like, like. Like I balled it up, like it just tastes like. Because mm-hmm. mm. we don't. It tastes like minimal, summer. If any, and like it tastes like summer mm. is like, what it tastes like. It's really, really good crab cake. Because it's more of the crab meat. Because that's what a crab cake is. Delicious. Look at yes. that. Yes, man. All right. But well, yeah, so that's how that all happened. I mean, we met. Sam. What's your favorite thing here? Oh my gosh, I love the fillet. I'm a fillet girl, all and right. I feel like whenever I come here, I'm in the mood for steak. There, I mean, there's so much. The beef carpaccio is insane. Everybody recommended the cheesesteak egg rolls. Oh, that too. That's what they have. That's hit me a on. favorite for everyone. And the beef stroganoff. My wife loves beef stroganoff. So, yes. but it's a, that's like for two. So you'll be having leftovers. I'm not going to eat the asparagus right now because for obvious reasons I'm going to be sweating in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's stay right. Stay in line bar. <laughs> that's I, right. I, I didn't know how to. Pre- I still don't want to call it bar. It's bar. Stay in line bar. It's a bar work. It has an R and E on the end. We even tell our girls they're bar babies. My son's name is B A R R Y. Okay. And that's two syllables. Barry, you know, like bar, Barry. Like, like bar, you Barry. Think Barry. I kept calling it Barry. I didn't know how to call it. Bar. Just bar. bar. Just bar. 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 Raven cheerleader. Yes. How many years? What'd you do? Oof. So I did six. I took off for eight, and I went back for one. You did two a Pro Bowl ago. turn, right? One yeah. year. Yeah. So um, the year we went to the Super Bowl. I that was, was still in Honolulu Super, then? Yeah, Super yeah, Bowl I mean, Pro Bowl. Screw this. Gray versus pickup game. It, I know. It's t- it, it, listen, it's just, and it was never any good. It wasn't so any good much. when you went, but at least the experience was, you know, going over to Wahoo yes. and doing all that. Oh, that it know? was incredible. I mean, I was the only representative from the Ravens because everyone was at Super Bowl. So I had to go to Hawaii, then oh. fly back into Maryland, meet my girls. Then we went to New Orleans, and then we won that. So that was like, uh, cheering for the Ravens was the best years of my life. Well, I wrote a book about it 
I'm going to give you a copy. I got a copy oh, of yes. Purple Rain around here somewhere. Oh, I put right. it on the chair. Oh, there, yeah. Right there. Yeah, right on the chair over nice. there. Nice. The one for you, Purple Rain 1 and Purple Rain 2. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, that's the first one. You were just a baby. In oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. But the second one, you're, <laughs> you're working hard. Um, oh, yeah. Purple Rain 1, Purple Rain 2. This is cool. Yeah. I didn't, we, we, Rasig didn't put you on the cover, but th this, <laughs> th this, this had a happy ending. How about these Orioles, huh? Yeah. I know, right? Well, I mean, obviously, I'm more of a football girl, clearly. Like, this is what was my love. A Hamilton girl doesn't go to baseball games? I know I did, but I don't, I'm just not cheerleader, you know? If the Orioles had cheerleaders, it would be different. Well, we got a quarterback. <laughs> we have a chance. We have a good roster. I'm, I'm heartened by the kind of year we're going to have. Yeah. And you're done. You're done cheering? I am done. You're not going to be the 60-year-old goes back and does no, one year? No, I was the 33-year-old that went back and did and one year. And that was year. a little too uh. old. Right, because I started at 19, retired 25. And then when I met my husband, he's amazing, and he was so supportive. And I said, I miss it. Listen, I, I dated a cheerleader 20 many years ago, and um, and I had many, uh, you know, Tina, you back running things 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. They came in, and, and I was amazed. And I know everything's going on with the Washington cheerleaders, and God bless mm -hmm. you, you weren't one of them, right? Correct, yeah. But, um, how hard it was to make the team, mm -hmm. then the expectations, the the uh, crazy no pay or whatever the hell yeah. stipend or whatever it was. I just always, like, when it first came, and it, I thought one thing about it. I think differently about it now because I know what they put you guys through. And I know, yes. like, for what you earn and what you do and what, it, and what they earn and what it represents – I just always felt like it's been in balance. I just want to say that not on yeah. behalf of like defending you or it or the institution. I just know you gave a lot of your life. It's to say, well, you're even cheerleader. That's mm -hmm. nice. You're pretty. You bounced around. We got pictures. Like the, the amount of effort, practices, yeah. years, and like that's mindset. the thing I think about. Yes, that's and the thing you know I what? And it's about. so you know we're so appreciative of that. When I started when I was 19, this was a dream. I didn't care about getting paid. Well, you paid. watched the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I was in. I, I mean, I don't even know if that show was even on. When but then I was you think about the value of your time. Yeah, but that, but that as I got older mm -hmm. and I was into other things. Now at that, with the Ravens, they were sending me on calendar shoots. I traveled overseas to Bahrain and Djibouti, performed for troops. I had the experiences that I don't care. I mean, and my coaches, mentors. Well, and if you so, look back and you honestly say it was the greatest oh gosh, thing you've ever done, it was done, the best thing was. I've ever done. Then it was. I, uh, and, and we were paid uh, clearly nothing to live off of. I worked a full-time job at Johns Hopkins for the chair of radiology. It was a hard gig, leaving a chair of radiology, yep. going into And I went right yeah. to practice at tw twice a week. I did tons of appearances, Purple Fridays, on a caravan. Weren't seeing your boyfriend, weren't seeing your husband, yeah, weren't no. seeing friends, weren't doing no. things. But it was, I knew... I'm a Baltimore girl through and through. That I love that organization. I will always love that organization, and I'm still part of it. An alumni version now, but alum. Man, we're old enough to have alum yeah. cheerleaders. I remember the old Colts cheerleader uh, would come out, and John Zeman in the early days. Um, it, it, it's a it's a brother and sisterhood. I should say brotherhood really? now, yeah. because of stunt and everything that Correct. the Ra the Ravens had always had male cheerleaders. They it was do. important to David Modell in the beginning, and of course Michelle as well, mm -hmm. uh, who I've known for a lifetime as well. Love you know, her. Yeah, Michelle and I. She used to work in Bel Air, and we'd get lunch. The only place that we could get lunch was Chili's. <laughs> oh my gosh. 1999. That's right, because right, there was nothing. There was nothing here. And then you're looking, looking at it now. Now look at it now. We're at the local. Uh, our friends Natalie and Bobby and Angel sent us up here to local uh, to uh, to be with Zach and to be with Lou. We appreciate the hospitality, the crab cakes. Great guests. Fancy Clancy was here. I feel like I had some baseball love going on. <laughs> Jay Ellamy came by. I told the story of running in my underwear through downtown Baltimore. Uh, you want to go <laughs> listen to the first segment? Yeah, I will. I've been on the air 31 years, but... <laughs> Uh, I was so convinced when we didn't get the team with Jacksonville, I went on the air for a year and a half and said, we're never getting the team. If we get a team, I'll run naked from Hooters to Balls. <laughs> so Hooters and Balls were sports bars, right? You probably have drank in both of them. You don't know them as Hooters and Balls. <laughs> Maybe uh, not. Ba balls like is the uh, current uh, Ale Street, Pratt Street Ale House. Okay. Which is right down the hill from Correct. the arena, right? Yes. That was Balls. Okay. And then, it, it actually it was PJ Crickets and Balls is next door. Oh. Um, and Hooters. So I told the story about running... Through the streets of Baltimore, my underwear, tidy whities I can show you the video of it. Um, I was younger, but I'm in better shape now. 
thanks to Bar Studios. That's, that's right. I, no, you can accredit. I stayed in line. You can accredit that to your yoga. Until Where were you, stay you running with me? I had Hooters girls that were like chain smoking behind me. They couldn't even keep up with me. It was terrible. That's, it's all on video too. It's crazy. That's funny. I made the news. <laughs> I made the news. Jamie, Jamie Costello put me on the news. <laughs> I love that. All right, uh, we, we got to get out of here. I, I I have class. She. Well, I'm you have class. Here. I have no class. Uh, the Maryland Crab Cake Tour, based in Baltimore but traveling all around the state of Maryland, courtesy of the Maryland Lottery. Um, that's a winner oh, for you. I uh, love yeah, that. Yeah, well, you're of the illegal age. Everybody gets to play yes. around here. I'm giving these away. We're going to be at uh, Shannon's in a couple of weeks over in Hailthorpe. We're going to be at Spirits West taking the show. We're kicking the 25th anniversary off at Drug City and Dundalk, Costas and Dundalk. We're coming to Fadley's. It is a whole summer tour. It's also brought to you by our friends at Window Nation. I only wear the, uh, the funny hat when I have the pretty girls on the show. So the Window Nation, 866 nation Buy two, get two free. If it's still May, you still have this much chance to get 0% financing for five years. My thanks to Angel. My thanks to Fancy Clancy, Lou, Jay, Ken, everybody that came out to hang out today here at the local. I text my wife when I walked in. I said, this place is cute. I didn't order the, the, the cheesesteak egg roll thing. I'll them. be back. I'm going to watch an Oreo game right there. You bring Bobby. We'll get some yes. dinner here one night. Sounds I'm going to get good. that fancy schmancy beef Wellington thing. Oh, uh, yeah. That or, thing. Get to- or Tomahawk. It. A little glass of Malbec. Might need uh-huh. an Uber home. Might need a driver it's that all night. Good. All right. We're, we're live in uh, Falston. Sending it back to the studio. I'm Nestor. We are WNST AM 1570. We never stop talking. Baltimore positive in these crab cakes right here. They're delicious.